Going direct. What's up, guys? Jermaine here from Heli Direct. I got a quick video. Anyone else ever have some stick packs? And at the same time, you have double six S's that you prefer to be in a stick pack because the, the look is just cleaner once you get it set up on the tray. You have everything organized. You don't have to worry about the plugs getting ripped off on the side of the lower frames. And everything's just here. I like that much better. But sometimes we, we need these separate packs for different models. So I think um it's a good thing to sit and uh, look at all the things you can just purchase to kind of turn it into a stick pack and you can even change the color of your batteries if you like with those so what I'm going to be using today is I'm going to be using a six inch battery lead for a 6S battery and I'm going to connect it here right I'm also going to slide over a piece of heat shrink tubing to secure this I've built up another six inch battery connector that matches so we're just going to have this here it's easy to plug that in and it won't come off because it's so tight. Once I get everything lined up really nice and straight, sometimes I'll just take a piece of clear tape just to hold it where I want it before adding my heat shrink. And you can buy this from Saab. They sell sheets of this on Haley Direct. Uh, they have like a pack. So you can purchase like a, I think it's about five or six in a bag. And I've always made sure that it was a little bit longer because once it shrinks, it's going to pull in. And it'll wrap around the back and the, and the front here on the edges. So I'm just going to get this all set up so you can see. Then I'll pull out my heat gun. I have a wireless heat gun. And I'll use this to shrink this wrap and get everything secure. And then we'll have a similar pack to this one here. Instead of wires hanging off the side and dangling. Um, I know if everyone probably has dealt with battery leads or battery balance cables pulling off the side of the frame and then you get it pulled out of your battery you got to open it and solder it so we're going to try to avoid that all right so i've added the heat shrink here what i'm going to do is just move this away because i don't want to shrink that accidentally and we're going to come here with the uh heat gun turn it on shoot it to the side certain areas which has happened to me before well you see you get a nice clean wrap here look at that See guys, you see how nice and clean you have that there. You don't have to worry about the wires pulling out, pulling apart. So that's the thing. That's the plan right there. We're gonna get this one here, right up on the side. I might use duct tape, packing tape, something like that. Um, as long as it secures it. You All know. right. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna kind of just get it here because I know that's where I want it. Starting. Pull this up and just get them tucked around the sides. Once it's here, I'll grab the battery as it's a one stick pack. Just kind of wrap it. See? Because I want it to stay right here. Alright. And then we're going to take another piece. So we're going to put one here. Right on this side here. Just to secure that right in the middle. Right. And then lastly, one on this side here. Just to hold the wires right in the middle you see so now we we pretty much built our stick pack all right you see everything is nice and lined up leads end up at the end so always remember the pack in the front has colorful leads the pack in the rear has these leads if you want to charge individually just so you don't mix them up okay the room you need to slide the battery in properly okay so here see that super clean right look at that just roll it over the edge here a little bit you see, like we are, perfect. Look, we got a lot more space back here. Just want to even that out. We can always trim it, like I said. Boom. And now we're here, you see? All right, so we're just going to go ahead and, with the heat gun, start applying heat. You don't want too much heat because it will split. And it's really quick as long as the hot, um, heat gun is hot. Boom. And you're just going to go all the way around. Okay? See? And then for the edges, you just come around here really quick and just watch it, take it easy and you can get it all cleaned up and we're going to hit the back end here. And that's it. We're all done. Check it out. We got a nice beautiful stick pack to match. See that? And then I can just mount it however I like to my steam 
my steam battery tray here and look at that beautiful after you trim it look a little more heat on the end here we'll close this area up a little tighter if you like and clean you see that boom all done nice and beautiful just like our original pulse pack all right guys have a good day Kelly direct <laughs>